All right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kalkalash. That's all praises to the world calls God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to those who like preaching and swearing in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazabon of Great Millstone, Arizona, Camp Lord Will. With another video to edify and um yeah what you seen on the screen in, in Laurel um I can remember to put this in the description it's a very good video you know it's it's it's, it's not hard to watch there's a lot of good information that comes out um but this video is by the epic economist and um I'm not gonna play it but uh you know this video was put out what was this today this video was put out today now in this video they're going through the fact that you know the housing the rental prices are going up at an extreme rate you got the house prices going up so nobody can actually be can afford a house so they're they're turning towards renting you have uh uh how do you say you have um uh, you have these big corporations buying up all of the houses, right? You got these landlords that are just cutting their losses, trying to sell, sell the houses at, at the highest rate they can get because the market is inflated where they're putting out these tenants because they couldn't pay during COVID or they lost their jobs or they just never found another one and got lazy, right? So it's all things being stacked on each other. And, and it even goes into reports of people saying that their landlords refused to take their money, even though they were trying to pay the rent because they had it in their mind already that they were just going to evict this person and sell the house. Right. They're trying to get the ball moving so they can hit this person with some money, sell the house and get the money that the person was trying to pay them in the first place sell the house for an extreme big big uh cash check and sit back right all these things are going on right all this stuff is going on and 2022 can very very well be that year where all hell can be breaking loose on the street you know because these people are being met with insurmountable insurmountable amount of pressure and they got a saying in the world, right? Pressure breaks pipes. And <laughs> these people are about to lose it now. There's a lot, a lot of stuff going on. The stuff with Trump uh, defending the jab is <laughs> causing a lot of ripple there to work. Now these people are seeing that no matter who it was, no matter who you get in the office, they're all for those that are in the office. So what now the people are getting in their minds? <laughs> and this is stuff we've already said. This is stuff, you know, starting from Elder Apostle Gabar, Elder Apostle Tahar, Gabar, Ramlab, uh, you know, Raka, you know, Ayathan, all, all the elders. They've said this all over and over again. Right? Right wing or left wing, you're on the same bird. No matter what, <laughs> they're going to be doing the same thing because they're part of the same bird. So now people are seeing that and that's causing a little, a bit of mental anguish towards the system. Like this, these, there's a lot of things playing out right now, right? Now, with that being said, I want to go to this real quick. Play this, this video now. You can read the title of the video right there on the screen. And World Star is uh is on the up and up when when it comes to news, you know as funny as it may seem, man, because World Star give you some of that shit that they ain't putting out there on on the media. Now this is uh supposed to be the the riots and the protests that are happening because these uh green passports that they're having in in uh Israel, right? And he reads it on the screen. It says, in the crowd, doctors, nurses, teachers, lawyers, families with children protesting against the green 
passport and human rights violations. There's no mention of this in the media. Stop it right there, just in case you know, they try to say I show some violent stuff, which I have not. But this is what's going on around the world, man. Now, mix that in. Mix all this in. Mix all this information in with the fact that people can't afford food. You know, people can't afford rent. <clears throat> people can't afford any of the belongings that they have. They can't afford you know, basic necessities. Then mix in that you're telling them they have to get something into their body that they don't want. Their, their government officials are putting all these unrighteous decrees on them. Right? Seemingly, they can't get an inch. You know, these people's minds are about to snap. And there's about to be a flood of, of violence in the street, man. Hey, right? Let me see if I can find it. All right, so this is a quote by Gerald Salente. It says, when people have nothing to lose and, and they've lost everything, they lose it. All right? And this is the time, right, that you're about to see that because people are losing so much, man. So let me get into these scriptures, man. I'm going to start up with James, the fifth chapter. And, and these things are seemingly coming upon these people unaware, right? Because what they're, 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 they're just going on in the world. Now, I want to go too far. Let me get this scripture and we'll get the ball moving. I've done enough rambling. This is James five and one. It says, go to now you rich men, weep and howl for your misery shall come upon you. Right? And the reason I bring this out is because these people see what's happening. They see what's happening. They see the rich getting richer and they're still stuck at the bottom. Right? Their prospects are low. The college degree that they thought they could get and make a good living is not profiting. Right? The women that are out here are no help. Right? The men that are out here don't want anything but one thing from the women because that's all they can give them. Right. And the only ones seemingly to be doing well are the rich that are firing people by Zoom calls in the thousands. Right. Are the rich that were able to get millions of dollars in COVID relief money. While your brass tax person couldn't get shit. Right. So what they're good. These people are going to look because uh, as far as I know it. Uh, names, um, housing records are public records. So you can find out that manager that fired people by thousands and somebody can go to their door. This is, this is just a possible outcome to all this hell that's breaking loose, right? You know, people are about to be losing and a lot of you rich that think you had a nest egg and things are going good for you, you're going to be met in a bad way, man. This is Luke 21. Right, Luke 21 and 25. It says, uh, and there should be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and upon earth, distress of nations with perplexity. Right, let's get that word for perplexity. So that word perplexity. It's 
So what it says the state of one who is perplexed. Now that's, that's BS. You shouldn't just simply say that. So let's go to the etymology. You don't define a word by using the word. So this is perplexity, bewilderment, doubt, uncertainty, confusion, perplexity. It says um, confused, involved, interwoven, entangled, past, particularly in, uh, something that causes perplexity, an intricate or involved state of confusion. And this is what people are coming to. They're coming to that intricate, involved state of confusion because they're going to look at the situation like man how the fuck did it get here right and people are already getting to that 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 point now the word here is distress it says a a holding together a narrow it says a narrowing the contracting part of the of a way metaphor straits distress anguish Right, so there's already distress, straits, anguish upon nations. I just showed you a video of them riding in, in the land of Israel. Now that was the people. Why is there riding? Right, the Lord said there was going to be peace for the children of Israel when they got into their land. No man should make them afraid. But hey, you know, but the wicked are still in rulership. So what? The people mourn. Right. Now these things are seemingly coming up upon the people unawares, man. Right. It says verse 26, man's hearts fell in them for fear and for looking for those things that are come upon earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Right? These governments, these rulerships, these, these nations are being shaken up, and these people are filling it. And they're walking into these things unaware, man. Right? This is um Ecclesiastes 9. These essays 9 and 12. It says, For a man also knoweth not his time. Uh, uh, yeah. For a man also knoweth not, not his time as the fishes are taken in an evil net. Uh, it says, And as the birds are caught in a snare, so the Son of Man. Uh, so the sons of men uh, snared in an evil time. So are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it uh, falleth suddenly upon them. And these things are coming suddenly upon these people because what? Right. For brothers that are looking, these things are coming in gradually, but it's coming quicker and quicker. But for people in the world, this shit is just piling on all at one time. And that's what's going to be enough just to make these people snap. Right, 2022 could very well be the year where it's just going to be all hell in the street. All hell in the street in America, man. You're telling me that you can no longer, right? At some, at one point, if you made $22 an hour in Arizona, at one point, you could live pretty damn good. You could live by yourself, not in a shitty neighborhood. Right? Not in a shitty neighborhood. You can live by yourself. Be able to sit here and even even take little vacations and, and little staycations, drive here and there, have a nice car, a dog, be able to get by easy. Now here it is. If you make $22 an hour, it's the same as you making $15, $12 an hour. You can't live off of it. Right. You got people spending well over 70 percent of their income. <laughs> just on rent alone. Right. And people are walking into this and people are getting caught <laughs> in this net that this devil is, is laying down, man. This is um Luke 21. And. Twenty three. In Luke 21 and 34. It 
It says, um, and take heed to yourselves, at least at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life so that the day come upon you unawares. And this is exactly why this day is coming upon these people unawares. These things are coming upon them uh, seemingly out of nowhere to them because what? They're overcharged with surfeiting, eating unbridledly, drunkenness, you know, filled up with whatever America has to offer partying and BSing, right? The cares of this life, these people are fully locked in to the so-called holiday spirit. Fully locked in. Ugly sweater competitions, secret Santas, secret Santas, white elephants, right? So what? All these things are just passing right in front of their faces and they're unaware that they're being snared in this evil time and this evil neck. It says, for as a snare shall come upon all them that dwell upon the face of the earth. Right? So the snare is coming upon everybody that dwells upon the face of the earth. Right? But the difference is for brothers that are in this thing, you've been watching. You see them lay a trap. It says as a, as a, as a, let me see if I can find it. It says as a, as a snare is laid. might be there's one where it says he that laid the snare in front of a bird basically is going to catch nothing right and that's exactly what they're doing because they're laying these traps down but brothers are watching right as is written as it's written, it says, what, uh, how does it go, uh, 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 man, had the scripture, man, I had the scripture in my mind, Lord will it come back to me, but basically, they're not pulling the wool over brother's eyes, man, because you're watching, right, it says, it says, verse 36, it says, watch ye therefore, and pray always that ye be, may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass to stand before the Son of Man. You see, this is what brothers are doing now, man. Doing your videos, you know, being brotherly, you know, keeping up the communication. These are, these are things that all apply towards what? Salvation, right? This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 2. It says, um, I'm sorry, when it says, but of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, for your for for yourselves know perfectly that 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 the day of Yahweh so cometh as a thief in the night, and that's exactly what the, the, this is coming to. All these things are coming as a thief in the night to the people in the world because what they're filled with the things of the world, right? So what the the, the increases the inflation that's coming, the inflation. Inflation that's here, that's only getting worse, right? The wickedness, the 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 sheer uh, aggression of these people against each other, right? The job layoffs, right? All these things are coming upon these people unaware because what they're filled with the things of this life, right? But the Lord said, "What we're not supposed to be taken unawares as those that are in the world because." We have this light, but with the people getting taken unawares and all this stuff is going to snap on them all at once, right? It's going to produce an extreme aggression, right? To where, what, uh, is, what is that? I think that's Isaiah, the 30th chapter. Isaiah 19, so like you. Isaiah 19 and 1, it says, uh, now I'll go to 2. It says, and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. They shall fight everyone against his brother, everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. 
You see, these are things that's being prepared. The Lord is, is cooking up something, man. Now, the scriptures talk about sedition, right? Second is just 15 and 16. Yeah, I started, I started at 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hand. Now, I brought out the, the stuff about the landlords, right? The housing market, the stuff with Trump, right? There's divisions going on everywhere. Right? Because what the Lord said, what? He came to bring bring a sword into vision. Right? This is what's being prepared. There's the, the, the scene is being set for everybody to be get at each other's neck. Right? It's gonna be the jabbed against the unjabbed, right? The 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 rich against the poor, right? Even those that just have a little bit are gonna be against those that have nothing. Or those that have a little bit are going to be against the rich. These things are being prepared. Even in the, in the military, they're sitting there putting in the military. Now they're they're equating extremism to likes on videos on social media or in, 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 in comments. Right. I saw I saw uh, something a little earlier. Let me see if I can find it. I think I put it in a chat with brothers. Yeah, here it is. This is part of that division right here too, man. It says city city hiring people hunters to pursue and find the uninitiated. Right? This is part of that, man. Right? So when the scriptures talk about these things, this is true. It says, uh, for the sword back in second years is 15 and 15. For the sword Sword and the destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right? These people are going to take it on themselves to do what they want for themselves. In 2022, just might be that year. The things that are happening now are in our, in our uh, you know, inflating to that point to where, you know, it's about to pop can very well lead to this all hell breaking loose scenario, man. You know, so Lord willing to satisfy, man, uh, I didn't really mean to make it this long. Um, that being said, I'm gonna say, call all you how about you, man, I'm shy, by Shimmer Kakadash, Shalom.